Today we are going to explore the developer console. Developer console it's for Apex development and run SQL, SQL queries and see uh, debugs. This is how you go to uh, um, developer console. Click the gear icon, select the developer console. This is the developer console. This is the file menu. If you want to create a new Apex class, you go new to Apex class and Apex trigger, and then visual force page, visual component, static resource, lighting application, lighting component, lighting interface, lighting email, lighting tokens. You come here and then you select, you open to X. Uh, to open existing uh, component there, you open resource, open lighting resource. This is save all and cross. So in the edit, search in the file. You, you want to uh, search in files. You you do that here. Um, like. Uh, you, you can search. Uh, everything in the uh, code base um, or apex classes so that's a good uh, good feature um, this is a debug menu you can open uh, apex uh, anonymous execution window you can run apex code here it is in the debug execute anonymous window that execute the last when you want to execute the last apex to the perspective manager it's the interesting thing so you have you can uh, open the debug perspective manager and log only all that diff let's open all So this is all perspective manager here. Um, these are the other options you want to clear. Lock panel, checkpoint results, and checkpoint location. This is a change my log level. You want to change the log level to the finance or developer log. You can change it by clicking at change. Um, auto hide locks that's one this is a test menu you can new test run um, so you new run you have to uh, select the test class and you you can select the test method and run it um, so this is run all test classes clear test data this is a workspace switch workspaces new workspace create current rename current workspace workspace this is a workspace manager this is the help shortcut preferences help so these are the uh, tabs below these are logs tab this is a test you can see all the uh, test classes and code coverage. They are the checkpoint. Checkpoint is for debugging. Uh, Salesforce doesn't have breakpoint. Uh, if you come from Java and uh, C sharp and you set a breakpoint, code stops there. But uh, in Apex, you cannot do that um, in Salesforce. This is a query editor. You can run a query. Select ID from account limit one. I'm trying to run this query. You can see I got the results. This query editor you can change also data from here when you click it. Uh, like if I This is a cool feature. You 
can change the uh, name here like test account one save words i'm saving it run again oh yeah so this is a view state for the visual source pages the uh, to check the memory it's been using the view state um, this is a progress uh, progresses of uh, deployment and everything you can see it here these are the problem if you have errors in apex code you can uh, see here over here um, or lightning component you can see here you can see errors here so this is a developer console the alternative is using the visual source code uh, many people are using uh, visual source code these days is much better than uh, developer console um, uh, performance wise is better this is the uh, uh, visual source code Visual Studio Code, I'm sorry about, this is a Visual Studio Code, uh, Visual Studio Code, it's, this is the version I have right now, um, yeah, good luck with the developer console, you can do most of the things with the developer console, um, but, uh, the alternative is Visual Studio Code. Uh, so, if you want to, uh, if you want to create a new Apex class, you select Create again, Create New Apex Class. Test class. It creates the class, the skeleton class. You have to. Uh, there here so this is uh, how you do and so you have to save it here yeah click yeah. you can see problems here you can see uh, errors here as you can see I saved it This is a quick uh, demo of uh, creating a test class.